Welcome back to the Recruiter Call Channel, where we make the call for you. Good morning, and thank you for calling Farmilla Recruiting. How may I help you? Uh, yes. Hi, are you this morning? Thank you. Uh, is this a recruiter? Are you Hi. a recruiter? I am a recruiter, yes, sir. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so oh. I... Uh, I got me and a friend of mine uh, kind of got, you mm -hmm. know, kind of got hip to you guys. So I'm just want to know a little uh -huh. bit. I, I just want to know a little bit more of what you guys got to offer. Is that cool? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, let me ask you first a couple of questions. Number one, what's your name? My name's Sean. Sean? Yes, ma'am. And Sean, one other question. What state are you out of? I'm out of Ohio. Okay. I just wanted to make sure you're in one of my hiring areas. I'm going to put your phone number in. I just want to make sure you don't have a recruiter before we get started. 3081. No, I don't see you with the recruiter. So my name is Miss Joyce, and go ahead with your questions. What All do you right. want to know? Awesome, awesome. So I'm asking for, I'm also asking for my buddy as well. So, you know, if I... If I sound okay. if I sound like I'm asking like more than one question, it's 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 towards him also. Um, okay, so how much experience do you guys require? You must have four to six months of over the road. We go coast to coast, over the road, coast to coast experience within the last six, six years. Is your friend out of Ohio as well? Uh, yes, yes, he is. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, cool. I got, I got seven and he got, he got about a year. He, you know, he just recently graduated. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, perfect. Um, well, since you said, uh, something about coast to coast, what, what lanes do you guys run and do you guys run Canada? <laughs> So, no, we do not run Canada. So, listen, we go to your lower states under I-80, coast to coast. We hit 40 and 10 for the most part. Mm -hmm. are, you, are, are you guys refrigerated or are you, you guys both drive in? Uh, we, both? Mm -mm. We are no-touch reefer. So, let me just tell you, Fry Miller Trucking is going to be no-touch reefer. So, we, like I said, we go to generally uh, the your lower states under I-80 from California straight across the map over to New Jersey and Philadelphia. Um, our lanes, again, like I said, are I-40s, I-10. Um, our trucks are going to be Peterbilt 579s, Kenworth T680s, all 20s to 23s. They all come equipped with APUs, inverters, refrigerators. Again, you just must have four to six months of over-the-road experience within the last three years. All right. Awesome. Um, are you guys mm -hmm. are you guys force dispatch since you said that you guys go up to like yes. PA? Yes, we are. We are for dispatch. Okay, okay. Uh, for pre-employment uh, drug screening, uh, is it hair follicles or urine or both? Uh, mouth and urine. Mouth swab and urine. Mouth swab. Oh, okay, that's different. Mm -hmm. Usually it's the hair follicle, but mouth swab. Mm -mm. Okay. We, we Yeah. All yeah. right. All right. Um, all right. Do you guys, um, well, let me ask you this. Since y'all do the mouth swab, do you guys accept SAP drivers? No. Okay. You must, I'm going to tell you this. You must have fully completed the whole entire process, and that's going to work for another employer and giving all those drug screens. Then after you complete that, you still have to wait two to three years to come here. Ooh, okay, okay. Well, it's a good yeah. thing that I'm yeah. clean, so I'm, I don't have nothing to worry about. <laughs> um, okay, so I, I read somewhere that you guys said that you guys have competitive pay, but a lot of companies that we talked to in the past say the same thing. So me being with... Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to... Oh, go ahead. 
I'm going to just tell you right now, listen, our average W-2s bring about seventy to about 80000 We start at 50 cent a mile, and we go up to 51 in 90 days. But guess what? We have plenty of miles, newer trucks. You're not gonna be. I'm not gonna tell you I pay you seventy cents a mile, and you run it for two and three days, and that's it. And sitting for two and three days, and we start. That's what we pay. We pay fifty five five zero fifty cent a mile. Okay. But we have. But you. But but listen. We also have. Fifty dollar extra drops. We have fifty dollar every inspection that you pay. You know how you go to and pass all these inspect clean inspections and all that. Every inspection you pass, we pay you fifty dollars for that. We do uh, qu- uh, up to six cents monthly bonuses, safety bonuses. We do uh, every driver you refer. We pay you a thousand dollars for those drivers. We do not do a sign on bonus, but listen for my orientation three days. Once you complete the orientation and take out your first load, we pay you three hundred dollars for that. Okay, so so no sign on bonus, but how how's your uh, no how how's your uh, what do you call it your 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 referral bonus? How how is that paid out? Because I I do have a large it's paid out following. quarterly. Uh huh. Absolutely. So let me tell you, it is paid out. Quarterly, so it's a thousand dollars every month, four months, three or four months that they're here. You get two fifty, two fifty, two fifty, two fifty for the duration of the that for that. Uh, I think it's like, I think it is two fifty a quarter. So and until it's paid out. Okay. Okay. As long as they're still here running, you get paid. Yes. Okay. Uh, you mentioned that the trucks are are new and they're pretty much uh, set out for the driver. Oh, yeah. Uh, but what are they governing that? 65 foot and 68 crews. All right. Can we take the trucks home? You you do take the trucks home. So when your home time comes, so you're out of Ohio. So Ohio is, please write this down, three weeks out, three days off. And when your home time comes, you go home with the truck, whether you have the the uh, land at home or if you have to take it to a secure location. You put the truck there, go home, or take the truck home. Your home time starts. I think it starts that. It doesn't start the day you get there. It starts the next day because you just finished the load. So it starts once you get there. Once your home time is up, you get back in the truck and you go. All right. All right. So, again, you, you guys run the lower, the lower 48. So you... You guys pretty much don't have no like regionals or anything like that, right? Not not in in your area. My regional is going to be like Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, Arkansas, East Colorado. That's my regional. Where you are, everything is OTR and it's three weeks out, three days off. All right. All right. Awesome. The only place we don't go over close to you is going to be West Virginia. All right. Awesome. Awesome. I hate driving to West Virginia. <laughs> uh, <Yeah>. dri- <laughs> driver cams? Forward facing, facing the street for your safety. Okay. Awesome. Um, I also noticed on the on the website as I was doing my research, you guys offer leasing. Is that is that just leasing like renting the truck or a lease to own type deal? We do lease lease purchase. So we have a lease purchase program where well, you can do it either two ways. You can lease it to just drive it or you can lease it to own it. So uh, with the lease to own, we have um, it is a it's a 48 month lease. Uh, well, it goes from, let's say, three and a half, about three to five years is the lease, depending on the truck that you choose. Uh, the most popular in that is going to be my one truck that uh Trucks that are 2019 to 2021, 20, 22s that have over 250,000 miles on those. Those are going to be my 48 month lease with a one dollar buyout. Um, those truck payments will be anywhere from 625 to 725 weekly fixed for 276 weeks. What? Uh, once you get to the end of that. That least there is a one dollar buyout. Um, so keep this in mind with these particular trucks. Yes, they have over two hundred and fifty thousand miles, but that's when the truck is at its best. But you have a maintenance deduction that you will pay anywhere from fifteen 
to 18 cents per mile, that's going to cover that truck from bumper to bumper and tire to tire. Anything that happens that is not driver related, it is covered. All right. What what would be my total expense for for uh for the week? I mean, what would be my total takeout for uh for the week of myself? For your uh huh. So you got to keep this in mind. So your with your truck payment and your deductions, you're looking at around about fourteen a week for that, and then your fuel, which can be anywhere from about two to two thousand, maybe about fifteen to two thousand weekly. Okay. What, uh, what kind of fuel discounts mm-hmm. that you guys give? So we have, uh, we get the biggest, uh, first and foremost, Mr. Uh, Fry Miller here and Mr. Loves are good friends. So we get the biggest fuel discounts at Loves. And so at the Loves, we do, um, first of all, too, you know what? I didn't even tell you this. Let's go back. Okay. Let me tell you what we're paying you. We're paying yeah. you. We give you yeah. a base pay and we give you, yes, and we give you 100% of the fuel surcharge. So our base pay is $1.17. The fuel surcharge just came out this morning at six fifty eight, and it is at $0.54. Cents. So it's bringing all miles loaded and unloaded to $1.71 per mile. So we don't do percentages. We do cents per mile. So you're making $1.71 on all miles loaded and unloaded. So that's the first part, and then you you look at the your truck payments. Uh, my average miles is anywhere from about I'm going to say about twenty five hundred to I've got drivers that get over thirty five hundred miles. It just depends if you're coming in. Let's say you wanted to come in with your friend, you you're doing the least purchase for you, and then he's going to be your team driver. You know, so you're paying him. Uh, my team drivers is the one uh, on the least purchase that gets a lot of miles. You know, but on the average, if you're just going to do it yourself, I'm going to say anywhere from about twenty four, twenty five hundred to, I'm going to say on an average of about twenty seven. But I've got a lot of drivers that get over three thousand to thirty five hundred miles weekly. All right, and then so- you just take that. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I was just going to say, and then you would just take all of that and uh, multiply it by that $1.71. All right. And again, like I said, you're looking at, mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, all right. So, coming, all right. So, again, uh, on the lease side, which would be like, what, ten ninety nine and everything. So, let me ask you this. I know coming yes, that's in. that's all 1099. So, coming in as, as a company driver, the 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 hotel, the drug testing and everything, you guys will take care of that. But if I come in as as coming in from a lease, for the lease standpoint, uh, would that be charged mm-hmm. with all of that? The drug testing, the hotel expenses, getting up there, would that be charged back to me? Let me tell you this. In the past, it absolutely would. We would cover it. They would bill you. But the way it is set up now, you must come in company first. You must come in company first for 30 days, run for company, and then you switch to uh, lease purchase. Therefore, we're covering your travel. We're covering your hotel drug test. And then once you complete it and go out for your first load, they're paying you the 300 But no, you can't come straight in lease purchase anymore. You must come in company first. Okay, okay, okay. And um, that allows you to get acclimated. Oh, with the company. Okay, to see if I like the company yes, or not, correct. pretty much. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, I can see it. I I I can see it that way. All right. Um. Okay. Mm-hmm. So on the lease, uh, on the company side, it's all dispatch. You already said it's forced dispatch, but on the on the lease side, can I choose my own loads? Uh, yeah, it's not forced dispatch. You uh, you know, but keep this in mind. When you turn down a lot of loads, they have to find someone to carry, take those loads. So now you're probably sitting somewhere waiting on them to come back to you. Um, when they call you with a load, if you decide you don't want that, they're going to call you back because they're trying to find somebody to take that load. And it may be the next call. It may be the next few hours or the next day. So mm. keep that in mind, too. Uh, that's that's as far as for the lease guys, right? 
Yes, oh, correct. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I only have a few more questions, and thank you for your time. I really do appreciate okay. it. Okay. Um, pet and okay. rider policy, and how? What's the youngest I can bring my rider? So the rider policy is forty dollars a month. They must be at least six years old. If they're an adult, they cannot obtain a CDL. My our pet policy is if it's a dog. They have to be under 100 pounds. You can have up to two, but together they must be under 100 pounds. And they are um, $750 a dog on your deposit, which is paid out in $50 weekly. Um, now, let's say you come and run with us for a few years and then you're ready to go. As long as that truck is, you know, once they clean it, everything is okay, you do get back $250 of that deposit. Okay. Uh, as far as if you have a cat, that cat is $1,000, and it's also paid out in uh, $50, $50 increments. $1,000 for a cat? Yeah, cats is different from dogs. Yes, yes, yes. Cats is different from dogs. But how is that possible? Like, a cat is much more cleaner than they, a dog. Right? Yeah, well, I'm just saying they, they, yeah. Well, I would say that, but, you know, well, I don't like, care. You know, I'm not a cat person. I'm not I, a dog person. I, I but. am. <laughs> I'm a cat person. That's why I'm surprised <laughs> that the, the $1,000 and the dog get over for, uh, what, seven fifty? Like, Bro. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Well, that's about it because you already told me that uh, you guys don't offer no uh, no sign-on bonuses or anything like that. But uh, on top of that, well, thank you very, very much. I really You're do welcome. appreciate it. I will definitely take this information mm -hmm. back with me. Um, let me ask you this because I, since I've been driving for a long time and I've, you know, I've been comfortable with the company that I've been with and, and kind of yeah. like got, you know, kind of like got a, a settlement of where I'm at. Is it possible that uh -huh. you guys can match what I'm making or no? No, we don't do, um, any uh we don't do any matching at all oh, okay. we started 50 cent a mile that's where we started yeah and we have drivers that come in that had uh, six months we had drivers that had five years ten years it's where we start you know the advancement and the growth is in once you get here um and then the advancement and growth is in you know loyalty you know being here running that's how you get the money that's how you, you know you get your raises and things like that but that's just how how it's better gotcha gotcha well again thank you very much ma'am uh i will definitely take this back to my mm -hmm. partner and i'm like i said okay. i have a large facebook group as well so i can take that back and oh. let them know let them know as well so thank you i really appreciate absolutely. it absolutely thank you you You're have welcome. a good one sir you too ma bye bye bye, -bye. Uh -huh. All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. So Frey Miller, everybody. Now, I'm not sure where they're out of. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the description below of everything that you guys need to know and how to get in contact with the company. But uh, good information, guys. What do you guys think of the call, man? I mean, she she was open, honest. I like it. She, she gave us a lot of information about their lease option uh program which is a dollar at the end of the lease i believe five years your trucks are at 250k miles about 2019s and 2020s your total for the week will be somewhere around 14 to 1500 if i'm not mistaken but what do you guys think? I mean, is this a company for you? Let let me know. Let me know. Frey Miller offers an average drivers can average up to 85K a year. <laughs> average drivers earns about 85K a year. Performance and safety bonus up to 6 cent CPM. Paid orientation. Paid practical route miles multiple stop pay, pet and rider policies, 
They also have a restrictions on a dog. And what shocked me the most is it's one thousand dollars for the cat and the seven hundred dollars for the dog. You would think the dog costs more because you got to clean up after him, right? Driver referral program, guaranteed detention, layover and breakdown, outstanding late model equipment, APUs, Transflow, and PeopleNet. They have Blue Cross and Blue Shield for medical, paid vacation, 401k, and they start at 50 cent a mile. Now, I know that's a deal breaker for some of you guys because if you're like me, that been in the game for seven years, 10 years. Yeah, 50 cent amount is kind of low. But this is what is this is what it comes to, drivers, that majority of these type of companies are offering cent per mile at that range. If you want more, you know, like 70 cent plus or, you know, close to that echelon, then you probably might have to go to the black ops companies. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. They do offer the lease side though. You would get a dollar 78 cent a mile. And let me put this at you. Do not turn down a lot of lows because you probably might be sitting. Uh, they got escalated. Uh, they got excellent equipment. Peter Bills, Ken Worth's. Uh, they got newly remodeled facilities and incentive pay programs to boost your earnings, retention and award, driver recognition, and driver referral for one thousand dollars that's paid out every quarter. Definitely got to be twenty one and six months of experience within the last three years drivers have you drove for Frey miller if so let us know how they treating you is it a good company to drive for or is it uh not a good company to drive for let us know your thoughts in the comments below till next time everybody who's next